All right, here we go. We do this basically every morning and I still am dramatic about it, no matter what. Oh yeah, drama is there. But you know what? We are living, we are thriving, and I am gonna get up. Put my shoes on and pick a Sydney Cummings workout for the morning. Love doing this on days that I just feel negative motivation, especially the full body days. So welcome everyone to a work from home routine with me. Today we're gonna be working out in the morning and we start out with some stretching and realizing that yes, I am awake and I'm about to do a workout. So about one to two times every two weeks, I will do a Sydney Cummings workout. And she is amazing. If you haven't checked out her channel, I would definitely do so. She is very thoughtful in her approach. She has really fun workouts and it really just helps add a little bit of differentiation to my workout routine. So since I'm doing a full body day, I'm going to go ahead and stretch out. This is so important, y'all. Please do not forget to do your warm up and stretch, and then we'll get right on into it. So one thing I really love about Sydney's workouts is that they involve both isolated and compound movements, which is really awesome to add some variety and keeping it spicy, you know, like it helps add a little bit of mm, je ne sais quoi. Another thing I love is that you can make her workouts as hard or as easy as you want. So if you're just not feeling it one day, you just wanna move your body, you can totally use little to no weights and just get her done. So clearly this move is just making my arm shake. I just not, not about this, you know, questioning everything at this moment, but alas, we keep on going. Sweat is dripping. I wish the coffee was dripping because I am probably exhausted. No, actually, I know I'm pretty tired at this point, but I love it. So it took me about four to five weeks to get into working out in the morning, and it has completely changed my life. I am one of those people that will say, this is amazing, because it really is. It helps me wake up and be completely rejuvenated and just tackle the day knowing that I already have something under my belt. So guys, please take time to cool down and stretch after your workouts. If you do decide to start doing morning workouts, just know it takes a little bit of time for your body to get used to it, but you will find benefit from it down the road. And if And I go ahead and get started on making some coffee because mama needs some coffee. I love the Lucky Goat Southern Pecan, Pecan, however you say it, coffee. It is so good. I love my coffee a little sweet in a sense of the way that it is roasted. I don't add sugar to my coffee, but I do like having a little bit of mm, to my coffee grounds. Then I'll go ahead and make a protein shake so I can not be starving and my muscles can get what they need. I love using the First Form Vegan Power Pro. It is so good and it does not upset my stomach. Way upsets my stomach, so I love using this product. And then I'm just trying to gas through my Vital Proteins Collagen. I'm gonna switch to the First Form, but I do like the Vital Proteins. Shake that baby on up. And then I try to chug a lug. Um, probably a serial killer trait of mine. There's nothing worse than sipping on protein and having it get lukewarm, so I just try my best in the beginning and then almost pass out. From there, I'll make my coffee, so I'll go ahead and pour it so it's not piping hot when I try to drink it. And then my favorite creamer, Nut Pots Creamer, is just the absolute goat. It is so good. I'll put that in my milk frother so I can get that started. And then I'll just turn her up and let her go. I mean, just look at that consistency. It is 
so good we got this on our wedding registry and it is just probably one of my favorite items it's just so awesome i just love how it makes my coffee in the morning and then i just take a look around the house all right then after I have my coffee and take some time to just kind of walk around and take in the morning, I will go ahead and get the bed made. I love making the bed in the mornings. It just helps me feel a little bit less scattered. It reorients me. The room just looks so much more put together with the bed made. So I try to do this every morning, probably once a week. We just, we can't get to, you know what, that is a-okay. I also have my sheets from Brooklinen. So many content creators that I follow have said very high praises of Brooklinen. So I put it on our registry and I actually love it. It is Luke's favorite registry item, probably top three for him. So, and he doesn't even know the hype around Brooklinen. So it is a great company and I will definitely be repurchasing sheets when I need to down the line. Just want to show you guys my outfit. I'm wearing my Lululemon top Balance Athletica leggings and my Fabletics little slippy slips, and I'm ready to go. I go ahead and walk back down the stairs so I can go and get started for the day. And I love doing a devotional if I have time before work in the morning. Probably three to four times a week, I'll have enough time to knock this out and just take a second. So I read on through this. I'm going through New Morning Mercies. It is excellent. I definitely recommend this. It is an awesome devotional, and I really love how it gives you passages if you want to read on in the Bible, which I typically do right after. And then I want to cozy it up in here, you know? So I go ahead and I turn on this candle. I got this candle from TJ Maxx, and... I have one or two cups of coffee a day and today is a two cup of coffee kind of day. So I go ahead and pour myself just a little bit more. Uh, not enough. And then I go ahead and get in the mindset of work. But before I cut myself a little slice of banana bread. I absolutely love banana bread. I didn't make this, so I can't give you the recipe, but I know that it's ridiculously easy to make. Then I'll just go ahead and drink just a little bit more of my coffee, enjoy it, take some of my vitamins. Right now I'm taking a B complex and a fish oil. Pop those babies in and hope that they work their magic. All right, now I'm gonna settle down and do a little bit of work. So in the mornings, I will go through my email and my socks to make sure that there is nothing extremely crazy. For background, I work in account management in advertising, so that is my job. Once I go through those, I love to start my morning off with the morning brew newsletter. It is a great way to get news quickly and efficiently, and it's kind of funny too. So I'm gonna link it below if you want to use my sign up link. It's a referral code, it would be awesome if you did. And then I organize myself for the day. So I love using Trello. I have different lists for each client and a sprint for when I need to get organized and finish things in a short amount of time. My job is very deadline heavy, so this sprint kind of thing that I do is huge for me. And I love using the Pomodoro method whenever I have days that I need a little bit more motivation. So I highly recommend using both of these methods, if not a variation of them, if you just need some inspiration. And if you're wondering why my keyboard looks whack, it's because it's a keyboard cover. Don't worry, it's not like heat warped or anything. After a few hours, it's time to get a little snack. So it's around 11 a.m. at this point and I cut open a papaya. I love papayas, they're so good for you. I typically like when they're a little bit more red on the inside, but this one was okay. 
I scoop out the insides, make sure I get everything, do a little taste test. And then I start doing like a little ice cream scoop of sorts for the bowl that I'm making. I'm just making a fruit bowl. So I fully flesh out the papaya. And then I add some cantaloupe that I had from earlier that week that I really wanted to eat. I add a little bit of Truvia on the top. I have a really big sweet tooth. For some people, it's probably sweet enough. And then I add a little bit of lemon just to give it that, you know, that zest in life. And I mix that baby all up. And then I'm done. I do some more work and then around 12.30 to 1, I'll go ahead and start pulling lunch out. So I didn't picture me on the computer some more because that would have been boring. But I'm going to make a really hearty salad and walk you guys through it. So I have some greens, chopped up tomato and onion. Go ahead and dump that into a bowl. I love using big bowls for my salad. I get really claustrophobic if they're too small. I love the Simply Smart Organics by Purdue already grilled chicken it saves my booty i don't have to grill chicken and clean it's just so convenient and then the eglin's best hard boiled eggs i'm not brand loyal so whatever is on sale i'll typically get and then the salad dressing olive oil apple cider vinegar some salt and pepper and lemon and oregano so good i go ahead and add some rice just to give it a little bit more body and then I'll take a little breaky break. So I'm watching Michelle Reed on YouTube. I love Michelle. Michelle is the reason I had the confidence to get into YouTube. She is amazing. I'm gonna link her channel below. She's a really great YouTuber. She's so just thoughtful and inspiring and wholesome and I just love her content. So I'll go ahead and just gas through that salad. And yeah, you know, it doesn't take me very long. I'm a really fast eater. It's kind of bad. I try to slow down, but I was starving. And then I just want a little sweet something, so I get some local honey, and I just literally have a spoonful of it. As you can tell, I go a little berserk here, and it just, you know, gravity takes over. It gets everywhere. It's just like, whoop, oh, you can see it. Oh, it's down. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. this happened probably a few times a week, more than I care to admit, but whatever, we're enjoying it. Hello friends, I'm just gonna break the fourth wall here. Thank you for being here. I am really glad that you are tuning into this vlog. It's probably around halfway through by now and we've had a pretty productive day working from home. I work from home Thursdays and Fridays. I just love being able to end my week at home, get my shiz together for the weekend, um, do a lot of chores and just recoup from the beginning of the week. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm happy you're here. Please don't forget to subscribe if you like this kind of content. For background, I am an account manager at an advertising agency. This is just a day in the life of what I do. A lot of what my job involves is client management, optimization, um, SEO and PPC strategy, which is search engine optimization and pay-per-click. It is approaching 2 p.m. and that is my biggest hour for procrastination. From 2 to 3 p.m., I am just naughty and I just don't, I do not work as efficiently as I can. I don't think as humans we're supposed to work for eight hours straight non-stop 100% effort and I don't think my company expects me to do that so I think what I'm going to do today is work really hard the next two hours and then just be on call for the last hour of my day. I don't have any meetings so I don't have to stay on past 4 p.m. unless I don't get my work done. So what I'm going to do and you guys saw me do this earlier is also, I'm just gonna acknowledge the elephant in the room. There are, there are antique guns on the wall. This was a Luke decision, and we are still decorating our home um, as we just got married and moved in together. So, they're not bad, I don't mind them, but just in case you're like, why are those there? Decorative. Anyway, 
I'm gonna go ahead and make a little sprint of what I need to do. So I'm going to categorize the things that I have to do in terms of what has to be done today and what can be pushed until tomorrow. Thursdays and Fridays, I typically try my very, very, very hardest to not schedule meetings, but I'm gonna go ahead and knock this out. So I will check in with you guys in a bit. If y'all also struggle with just that midday motivation, I really have found it extremely beneficial. I cannot emphasize this enough to tackle a sprint list. So as I'm doing, you put in a total of three to four items that absolutely need to get done that day. And then you can turn on the Pomodoro method, which is the stopwatch that I showed you guys earlier and just have at it for 25 minutes go really hard get into that mode do not check your phone do not check your personal email or go on any other like surf in the web or online shopping just really focus on those tasks on your list and i promise like you will get through each task one at a time and it is so nice when you complete a task that has been weighing on you. Um, for me at least, tasks that weigh on me. All right, so I don't know if you all also struggle with this, but whenever it's like the midday grind of having to bust out these next two hours of work, life gets a little crazy and I feel a little scattered. So what I do is I use my Pomodoro method, which I showed you guys earlier this bad boy, I'm gonna link it below. And I also create a sprint tab. So what I absolutely have to get done. And I go through and I look at my first thing on my sprint, I start the clock and I literally go for 25 minutes as hard as I can go. And then I take a nice little five minute or 15 minute break and do it all over again. Before you know it, it'll be the end of your day. You will have been very productive because you're keeping yourself on track while also rewarding yourself with a little bit of breaks. I will use this method of staying really, really, really on track with this like Pomodoro method and my sprints. So I'll like take these cards of my to-do list for my clients and I'll move them to my sprint based on priority. And it really helps because I'm sure everyone can relate. When you feel overwhelmed and scattered at work, there is nothing worse than not knowing what to do first. I'm not amused. I am so tired. Does anyone feel like that at the very end? tail end of your day where you're like yeah it's about 3 45 i'm gonna give it another 25 minutes of really hard work i'm gonna see where i'm at so i can maybe log off but this is rough Alrighty y'all, that is the end of my work from home routine. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and took something away from it. I've linked some relevant things that I've included in the video below. And if you have any questions, please feel free to shoot me a DM or an email. I would love to hear from you guys. I'm also working on a Q&A video that is more of like a question and answer life advice column. So if you have any questions, please feel free to DM, email me, or drop them in the comments below. I will be filming that in just a couple days this week 
weekend. But I'm really happy you guys are here. Again, if you are new to the channel and you like this kind of content, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate each and every single one of my subscribers. You guys really do mean the world to me. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, friends. I was wrong.